The winters in Southington are pretty brutal here. We have the nor'easters to we actually had a cyclone bomb storm. When the snow comes in, there's a lot of damage done. And don't forget snow plows. Worst problems for mailboxes in the winters here in the Northeast is the, the damage from the snow plows uh, and the snow actually hitting the mailbox and either breaking them completely or ripping the mailbox right off the, the post. But one New Englander has decided not to get all bent out of shape about it. He's gonna test out his new invention against some high powered hits. My name's Gary Salala. When my mailbox gets hit, it springs and comes right back. Gary is used to snow in Connecticut, but this past year, something in him finally snapped, and not just his mailbox. What inspired me here was driving down the road last winter uh, after one of our big storms, seeing all the mailboxes that were destroyed from the plows, and that light bulb just kind of went off in my head. What can we do to prevent the plow damage? The actual mailbox takes the brunt of the snow and, of course, the plows. So people have come up with some unique contraptions to try to keep their mailboxes upright. Well, here in New England, we do see a lot of crazy um, structures built in front of mailboxes to protect them. We've seen interior doors from homes to steel to just your typical plastic banging stakes to try to protect their mailboxes. They look pretty awful in everyone's front yard. My experience with my own mailbox in the winter is, I think, pretty much the same as everyone else's. Year after year, been damaged by the plows. Gary's solution was simple. We're looking a way to keep our, our posts straight up and down and uh, get that mailbox to actually kind of uh, spring out of the way almost. He needed to calculate the best way to create that spring action he was looking for. This is my workshop where uh, everything began. Uh, put a lot of time and hours down here figuring this invention out. All right, so this is our first prototype. Okay, um, basically it's, it's our hinge, a hinge, and then we had two screws with an elastic. So what would happen is if it got hit, the elastic would spring it back. It was a little uh, extensive work of having to go back out there, having to have a bunch of elastics and, you know, flip your mailbox back up and then put a, a new elastic every time. So a little thought process involved, and we came up with a, a spring hinge, which would bring it right back to its original position. Okay, and that's gonna fasten on just like that. Now in his big new manufacturing space, the new spring hinge is put into place. All right, we'll have your swing hinge. Time now to put it to the test. First up, it's usual roadside smacking from the snow plow. Takes a licking and keeps on, well, being a mailbox. But wait, there's more. You think a snow plow's tough? How about a 45,000 pound excavator? It just keeps coming back. And finally, to really see if this mailbox delivers the goods. Awesome. There's one more test. <laughs> Former Major League ball player Nick Greenwood is about to take his best shot. Pretty confident in a couple swings, I'll be able to take it down. The average Major League Baseball player swings about at 75 miles an hour. I'll be swinging it at 65. But just like the snowplow and the excavator before him, Nick strikes out. In the end, neither snow nor sleet nor excavators or baseball bats can keep Gary's mailbox from delivering.